In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use YouTube ads to promote affiliate offers in 2022. So before we get into this video, my name is Shash Singh. I run a YouTube ads agency called Links Digital. So make sure to smash that subscribe button so you get the latest YouTube ads info right to your YouTube homepage. Now, a very common question I get is, does Google allow affiliate marketing? The honest truth is that yes, Google does allow affiliate marketing. If you go and do a Google search, you'll find a ton of affiliate results, right? Like go search for web hosting reviews, right? And I can guarantee one or two of those results will be affiliate websites. The thing is, while Google is cool with affiliate marketing, they hate spammers. They allow affiliate marketing if done in the right way, which means sending people to websites that have content and actually offer value. The number one tip with YouTube ads, affiliate marketing is do not direct link. If you direct link to your affiliate offer, you're going to get banned. So that means just sending them straight to the affiliate offer, that's not going to work. You actually need to send them to a page with some content and a website with some content. So let's quickly talk about how to be compliant when doing YouTube ads for affiliate marketing. So the first key point I want to remind you of is do not direct link to an affiliate offer. Do not do that. If you do, do not pass go, go straight to jail. Do not direct link to affiliate offers. Now, the second tip I'll give you is I would typically recommend using a .com domain and stick to one domain per Google Ads account. So you can create some sort of general store so you can try different niches, but having one .com domain is better than having a bunch of domains in your Google Ads account. Because if you have multiple domains, what can happen is sometimes one of those domains will expire, somebody else will pick it up, they'll use it for spam or something, and then that domain is associated with your Google Ads account and that will just get your ad account banned. So the reason you wanna have one domain per Google Ads account is you can control that domain and make sure that you retain ownership of it. Because if you have a bunch of domains in a Google Ads account, somebody can take over that domain because you let it expire and that one domain could tank your whole account and get you banned. Another key tip is create an MCC account and create sub accounts underneath that. So if you're going to be running YouTube ads or Google ads and doing affiliate marketing, go create an MCC account, right? So MCC account is basically, uh, it's kind of like a Facebook business manager. It allows you to create sub accounts. So that way, if, even if one account gets in, into some sort of suspension, it won't affect the rest of your accounts unless you do something really egregious. Now, as I mentioned, you can typically test multiple offers with a general store. So one domain isn't really an issue. When you're actually creating the website, there's a few tips to ensure that you stay in Google's good side. The first is use SSL. So what that means is it will be, your website will be HTTPS instead of HTTP. It kind of shows that your website is secure. And that's a very easy thing to set up. So if you go look at your hosting provider, you can figure out how to set up SSL for your domain. Now, second tip is have a privacy policy. That's really important as it's one of those pages that most websites have, and it shows that you're legit. Same thing with the terms and disclosure page, have an about page and a contact page as well. Those are all pages that are really important if you're running any kind of website and they show that, hey, this is a real website and it's super simple to do. Now, you also want to have a very small affiliate disclosure at the bottom saying that, hey, uh, we do get compensated for linking out to some of these products. You don't have to write it in big text. It could be in tiny text, but that does kind of help a bit because you're staying compliant. You're, it's kind of a, just one of those minor things we suggest you do. Now, in terms of content on the website, I recommend that you have three to five pieces of content like articles that you have on the website. So there is some depth to it and it's not just a landing page. So with YouTube, it's less strict, but especially with search, you want to make sure you have those minimum three to five pages of content on the website. Now that you've set up your website, you're going to stay compliant. How do you choose the right offer? So you have to choose the right offers that have the right payout so you can actually be profitable. Typically, we recommend choosing affiliate offers that have at least a $55 payout or higher in the US market. In other geographies, it can be lower as the competition is a lot less. For example, in Latin America, you can go with a payout that's $15 to $20 as your CPMs are going to be much lower. However, in the US market, go for a payout that's 55 bucks or higher if you want to be doing affiliate marketing. Now, whatever offer you promote, you want to go for offers that have existing content or video ads, right? Because if you have to create the video ads from scratch, it's going to make life a lot more difficult. For testing, at least, you wanna make sure they have some video ads. Now, a network that's really good for this is Giddy Up because they actually allow you to use a lot of the video ads they have and they have a bunch of video ads. So Giddy Up is a great network if you are looking for offers with existing video ads that are actually great ads. 
Another tip is go for more white hat offers. So make sure to always research whether Google accepts these kind of offers, right? So for example, if you are in the financial niche or if you're in, let's say healthcare, you have to really read the fine print of Google ads policies to make sure that you are running a compliant offer. So that's something I do. So for example, at Lynx, if we do promote an affiliate offer, we're going to choose something white hat, usually e-commerce products are pretty white hat and compliant. Now, the last tip is you want to go for broad offers. The broader, the better. YouTube is an ad platform that does really well the big broad offers. The YouTube advertising platform isn't the best for very niche offers that only cater to a small percentage of people. I usually see the offers that work the best are big and broad and appeal to most people out there. Now let's talk about choosing the right offer, right? Now you have an idea of some of the criteria. One of the things you want to do is actually ask your affiliate marketing what the most promising and best performing offers are on the network. This is why it's important to have a strong relationship with your affiliate manager. They win when you win, right? So you want to make sure you cultivate that relationship with whoever your affiliate manager is at the network so they can provide you some good insights and give you the heads up on when a offer starts converting. So offers that are good are offers where volume is increasing, right? You don't want something that's been running for years and years because that typically means there's existing affiliates who've figured it out and they are they have the market cornered. However, an offer that has volume that's increasing usually means there's upside. It usually means that the affiliates who are doing it, they haven't completely just taken over the market with it, right? So that's a good sign. So something that's starting to pop a bit is a great offer to take on. You do want to be careful with testing brand new offers that are unproven. You can do it, but just be aware that because they're unproven, there's a much lower chance of success. Now, another way to find great offers that are working is to use tools like Power Ad Spy, VidTao, or Video Ad Vault. So these spy tools allow you to see which ads are working and not working. Um, for example, with Video Ad Vault and Power Ad Spy, you have some pretty powerful search features. So another cool thing about Power Ad Spy is you can actually filter by video ads that are sending people to ClickBank. So that's actually pretty powerful if you're looking for affiliate offers. Now, how do you test the offer, right? So guys, I do have in-depth YouTube ads training videos in this channel. There's a video on how to run YouTube ads in 2021, and I'm coming out with the 2022 video soon as well. Maybe it will already be out. If it does, we'll link to one of the in-depth tutorials above, right? But essentially what we recommend when testing YouTube ads is go follow one of those videos and set up some campaigns. What I recommend is spending up to $500 in testing each offer. So test a few different audiences, look at what cost per clicks you're getting, look at what conversion rates you're getting. So let's say after you spend $250, you've got no sales, that's probably when you want to kill it. And if at $500, you're not at least making kind of 70% of your money back, that's when you want to kill it, right? So if you, let's say spend $500 and you've made $350 in payouts, that's an offer you can probably optimize into profitability you know, get some better ads, test some different landers, and that could probably work. However, if at $500, you've only made $100, it's going to be a lot harder to make that work. You have a lot bigger of a hill to climb. Now, when you're testing these offers, honestly, even a 10 to 15% success rate is good because most of these offers are not going to work. Now, in terms of finding offers and ads, I did mention there's some spy tools. So uh, one free spy tool is Vitao. By the way, guys, there'll be links below to sign up for these spy tools, but Vitao is completely free. And you can basically create a swipe file with their plugin. Uh, their search functionality is pretty good. It's a good free option. However, the tools that I really like to use are Power Ad Spy. So Power Ad Spy, as I mentioned, you can filter by different landing pages. So if you actually look in here, um, you can actually filter by ClickBank as a landing page platform. So if you actually do that, you can see that there's a lot of people running offers to ClickBank landing pages, right? This is an affiliate offer. So this is a great way to find offers. Some of these, you have to kind of watch them on YouTube. So you can see that there's been 330,000 views on this to this ClickBank offer. So yeah, if you're looking to sell uh, ClickBank offers, that's incredibly powerful. You can see exactly what's working and not working with Power Ad Spy, which is why this is my favorite tool for affiliate spying. Another good tool is Video Ad Vault. Um, the only thing about Video Ad Vault is you cannot filter by landing page types, so I kind of prefer Power Ad Spy for that reason. But Video Ad Vault is also very powerful. They have their swipe plugin, so on YouTube you can actually save ads into your swipe file. As you can see here, I have a saved ads list. And they have this bookmarker right here. The bookmarker is really cool. It's like a Chrome extension. I'll show you how it works. So what you can do here is you can click on bookmark ad 
and there you go it basically saves it right and then you can open it right here yeah this is the bookmarker right here so you can see just i added it in there so yeah guys that's how that works so my favorite tool is as i said power ads Spy. however i don't think power ads Spy has a bookmarking tool so video ad vault is also worth a try and vidtao is also a great free option guys so now i do want to mention another tool that you can use for doing research into affiliate offers and what traffic sources they're using it's similarweb.com so if you do find an affiliate website or if you find the landing page to an ad you can plug it into similarweb.com and see what other website they're buying traffic from so you can see what traffic sources they're running to their offers so Similar web is again an excellent tool for doing research into different offers and the traffic sources they're using. Now, in terms of tracking options for affiliates, there are four tracking options that may be good fits. So volume is one, it's probably the most popular in the industry right now. It's quite honestly, a really in-depth tracking tool that if you're running affiliate offers, you should definitely look into. A few other popular ones are CPV Lab Pro, BMob, as well as red track so those are four tracking tools you should use at least one of them because they will definitely help you in terms of being able to analyze the results and really be able to see what's going on with your affiliate marketing right because sometimes if you just do the google ads default tracking you're going to miss data you're going to miss um, certain clicks coming in from ios 14. so i do recommend setting up one of these tracking tools okay so now that we've talked about the offers to choose some of the tracking tools how to spy and find ads I want to talk about how to create the video ads. So what you want to do is use those spy tools I've mentioned to actually find ads in your niche. They will provide inspiration. So for example, if I'm using something like Video Ad Vault, I will put in whatever niche you're in and the keyword for that and start looking for ads. And that will give me a good idea of what ad format is working. You're basically trying to look for videos with around 50,000 to 100,000 plus views. Usually that means there's been a fair amount spent on them. If they have over a million or 10 million views, that's even better. Now, once you have found some ads, there's a few ways you can actually create your own video ads. So as I suggested, go find an offer that already has video content or ads that you can use. And then what you can do is you can hire an editor on something like Upwork.com to be able to take those videos and make them better, right? So they can edit in some background music, they can add in some text captions. That's the easiest way to go. However, if you're starting from scratch, which I don't suggest, or if you're trying to remix those ads that already exist into something more of a compelling script, then what I suggest is go check out my video on how to script YouTube ads. There'll be a link in the card above. Go check that video out or search in the YouTube channel, Shash Singh, how to script YouTube ads. And that goes over my scripting formula. So go and use that scripting formula to come up with basically a script and a storyboard. And then what you can do is you can go to storyblocks.com and source a bunch of B-roll footage. So that footage can be combined with product footage. So if the product has some product footage, you can combine that with B-roll footage to kind of create a compelling video ad. The next step is if you don't have any product footage, you can actually hire influencers to build out product footage for you. So influencers can be paid a couple hundred dollars, especially if they're smaller, to actually make video ads for you and then shoot product footage. And so once you have the product footage and you combine it with the B-roll footage, you'll be able to create video ads that way. So now the next step is finding a voiceover artist. So even if the visuals are compelling, you do need a voiceover. So what I find is with YouTube ads, having no voiceover or no actor can hurt results. Now, an actor is ideal, but obviously that adds more complexity. It's more expensive. However, if you're able to just get a voiceover, then you can just combine the footage of the product with maybe some B-roll footage, maybe some editing, and then have the voiceover overlaid on that. And then you have a pretty solid video ad. If you actually look at a lot of the affiliate ads that are working now, they're using this format. They're using a voiceover combined with B-roll and product footage to sell the products. Now, where do you find voiceover artists? I recommend using Upwork.com or Backstage.com. Even Fiverr has some good voiceover artists as well. So those are all potential options for finding great voiceover artists. Now, what you will do is you'll have a script that the voiceover artist will record. And then obviously you'll combine that with the visual footage, which is either product footage or B-roll footage, right? So if you're selling something like a course as an affiliate, then you don't really need product footage. So what you really need if you're selling a course is a B-roll footage to emphasize key points and you know if you're for example if you have a script that's talking about how there's a financial crisis coming and because of that they should check out this free ebook 
you should have b-roll footage of perhaps somebody looking depressed and dark and maybe have uh, kind of darker footage, right? So you have to use your creativity a bit with these video ads. If you need to, go find somebody who has experience putting together ads to make those ads for you. Usually mm -hmm. on Upwork, you can find some experienced video editors and they can usually be able to take the script as well as find the right B-roll footage for it to emphasize the emotional aspects of the script. Now, in terms of length for an ad, I would say anywhere from 60 seconds to two minutes is good. You can go shorter, you can go a bit longer. What I like to do is test different lengths, so I'll create different variations, right? So I'll have a cut down script that might be 45 seconds long, and I might have the full script, which might be 90 seconds to two minutes long. So I do recommend testing different video ad lengths. All right, guys, now that we've covered how you can create an affiliate YouTube ad, let's talk about targeting. So. In terms of targeting options, again, I have more in-depth videos on targeting. There's an YouTube ads targeting guide video. So if you look up Shash Singh targeting, you can find it. But I want to cover this in kind of high level detail so you understand the process and then you can go find these videos and watch them to kind of get into the weeds. So what I recommend for targeting with affiliate products especially is custom intent, which is basically custom audiences based on keywords that people are searching on Google. So what you do with custom intent audiences is you're essentially targeting people who are searching for certain keywords on google.com on YouTube. So an example of this is if somebody goes into google.com and types in best surfboard, and then basically you run a YouTube ad and that YouTube ad targets those people who just search best surfboard on Google, but it targets them on YouTube. So that's a great targeting option because what you can do is you can essentially target people who are searching for certain brand names or for competitors or even for whatever solution your problem solves. So that's a great place to start with YouTube ads targeting for affiliate products. Now, I would also recommend testing out custom affinity audiences, which is a custom audience based on URLs or even phrases or even apps. So what you can do in there is you can actually find the brand name of whatever product you are in and target that custom audience, right? Another great audience type is in-market audiences. So in-market audiences are essentially audiences based on lists of people Google think are interested in certain products or niches. So there are a lot of different in-market audiences for things like furniture or things like people looking for new jobs. And you can essentially go and find an in-market audience that's correlated to whatever you're selling. And that's a great targeting option. We've had great results with in-market audiences, especially for selling physical products. So if you're an affiliate marketer who sells physical products, definitely look into in-market audiences. Now, once you start scaling and start spending money, I do suggest just trying open demographics. So literally just trying, let's say male, uh, ages 20 to 40, if you're selling something that's targeted towards men, or if you're selling something the beauty, just target women 20 to 44 or 20 to 60 based on whatever demographics it is. So not having any other targeting other than the demographics that normally buy your product. Now let's talk about some campaign launch strategies so that your YouTube ads do well. What I personally like to do is have one targeting option per campaign. So what I'll do is I'll have one campaign, one ad group, and I'll have three to five ads in there. So I'll only target one audience per campaign. Sometimes if it's placements, I might target a few hundred placements, but they're all tightly related. And if it's keywords, I might target five to six keywords, but they're all tightly related, right? So I'm not going to go and have a campaign which has placements and keywords and custom intent. I'm just gonna keep each audience type Kind of tightly grouped per campaign. Now I'll typically have those two to four or two to five ads in one ad group and in one campaign, right? So it's usually one ad group, one campaign, and then three to five ads in that ad group. Now with campaigns, what I like to do is initially when testing account, I like to test with maximized conversions. Typically I launch new campaigns at 25 to $50 per day. And typically what I'll suggest is the lower the price of the product, the lower the daily budget. So if you're selling something that's, you know, 25 to 30 dollars i would perhaps start with 25 dollars a day per campaign if you're selling something that's 50 to 60 dollars i may look at 50 dollars a day campaign let it run for three to four days if it doesn't get sales kill it in terms of rules i like to follow i like to pause ads if they spend two times your break even cpa ad with no purchases right so let's do an example if your product is a 50 dollar payout then what i would do is i would spend 100 dollars on a campaign and if it hasn't had a purchase i would kill it and essentially, if after $500 spend, you're at least not at $350 to $400 back in payouts, I would probably kill the campaign and go test another product. As I mentioned, you'll probably have a low hit rate with products that work. It might be 10 to 
So you'll probably have to test five to six different products and go through a few thousand dollars in budget before you find a winner. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to promote affiliate offers with YouTube ads. As I mentioned, if you like this video, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you want a more in-depth affiliate marketing program, we actually created a module in our course that's focused on YouTube ads for affiliate marketing. So if you click the link below and sign up for the demo, we'll show you what's inside the program and what's included.